great idea can get you ahead of the game, but a visionary concept can be a game changer. I'm Albi Benitez and this is Game Changer. There are men and women driven by passion, committed to find happiness and meaning. They strive to better our lives and make us aspire to help others. They are visionaries. They advocate events, ideas, technological innovations that make significant shifts in our thinking. To make a better future for us, they pursue game-changing inventions that make us change the way we think, we live, we carry our lives the way we see things. We ask ordinary people about their ideas and what they believe are game changers. Journey with us as we tell stories of these visionaries and their game changers. This week on Game Changer. Nanotechnology. Technology at the tiniest, with the biggest potential in so many fields. An app that needs no data plans nor an internet connection. And it can save your life when the next disaster strikes. And the old business of buying and selling, given an online twist. Nano in nanotechnology means a billionth of a meter. To put this in perspective, a newspaper page is about 100,000 nanometers thick. A human hair, 100,000 nanometers in diameter. Yes, in nanotechnology, we are talking about measurements in the realm of atoms and molecules. A clear paint that reduces heat and damage caused by sunlight. A nanoelectric nose that can detect spoiled meat, and tiny particles that can directly target cancer cells in the body. All products of wishful thinking? Not anymore, thanks to nanotechnology. Dr. Hill Nonato Santos, chairman of the De La Salle University Physics Department, is one of the scientists harnessing nanotechnology in the country. Nanotechnology, yung from the word nano, is meaning very, very small. In fact, hindi mo siya makikita eh. Yung technology itself is how do you develop these nano-sized materials to make it functional. Maraming possibilities. You have to first make the nanocrystal, the nanomaterials. After that, you look for a particular application and to make it functional for food, for energy, for health. Nanotech goes down to the atomic level to develop products that have better sensitivity and concentration to yield maximum benefits. The nano nose is a nano sensor that can detect spoiled meat. This includes bocha. A gas coming out from the spoiled meat and inject that to our nano sensor. After which, you have a voltmeter or an LED connected to the, to the device. And the detection is by the LED blinking. As of now, inspectors have to manually sniff the meat to detect spoilage. It's all subjective. You don't have any scientific reading to detect or to determine if it is spoiled. That's why we are making this uh, electronic nano sensor to be able to produce scientific reports based on the meat spoilage detection. From nanotechnology and food, we go to virus applications in construction and architecture, from residential and commercial, and even industrial use. Intense heat and ultraviolet or UV rays are bad for businesses, residences, and even the preservation of items of value. Before, tints were the solution to UV rays. But entrepreneur Edmund Lee had a different idea. Nanocoat essentially is a clear and uh, colorless paint developed specially for glass use. Uh, once your glass is coated with uh, nanocoat, you can still allow sunlight to come in, 
but it can block heat and UV from entering. They also invented a unique way of application that even foreigners are eager to learn. The curtain painting technique this is something that we uh, develop. Uh, and the flow is very smooth, uh, the finish is very clean. When we recover all this excess uh, nano coat, we can reprocess it and reuse it later, just like new. These savings now, we can give back to our clients and we are able to come up with a very uh, affordable pricing. The nano coat is a versatile product with varied benefits. It gives one a clear view as it maintains 76% visible light transmission while reducing glare by 26.7%. It blocks around 86% of UV rays. This not only keeps the room cooler, it also protects the people and objects inside. Tied to this is the huge savings generated from lower utility costs. At the Hyundai showroom in Santa Rosa, Laguna, the Nano Coat has become a valuable aid in preserving the quality of cars. The harmful um, UV rays of the sun na pumapasok sa showroom is being avoided. So, na may maintain na mint condition yung paint ng, ng brand new vehicles on display. Yung desired temperature nga ng, ng showroom for, for customers coming in to see the units achieved then through the nano coat. And in just a short span of time, they were able to recover their initial investment and generate considerable savings. We used to use anim na five toner na split type aircon aircon units ano. Ngayon siguro three or four na lang. Approximately, we saved about eighty to ninety thousand for one year. The DLSU library is home to the works of some of our national artists, including those of F. Shunil Jose, the national artist for literature. F. Shunil Jose collection, uh, composed of uh, books mostly books and uh, manuscripts, artworks, and uh, posters. Doon siya sa side kung saan ma matindi yung sikat ng araw. So, mabilis na magdideteriorate yung condition ng mga manuscripts. These cultural gems also fall prey to the harmful effects of the sun. Ito ang nano coat. Mas secured na yung feeling namin na hindi na masisira yung collection namin. Tapos yung family din, mas masaya sila kasi assured sila na protected yung collection ng father nila. Preserving the treasures of the past is one thing. But progress is also about looking forward into the future. The Department of Science and Technology recognizes this and established its own nanotechnology program. We established in July 1 of 2014 a DOSDITDI Nanotech Laboratory. In 2012, we released this Nanotechnology Prospect and Priorities. This is a five-year roadmap, and this becomes the basis for our research and development. They work with the private sector and the academe in formulating the country's path in maximizing the use of this emerging technology. We have developed already a few products for the industry. Quantum Dots uh, is used as a tool to locate the cancer or the tumor inside the body. For example, halocyte nanotubes, you could use it to direct the delivery of the medicine to the tumor. The department also houses a laboratory featuring state-of-the-art equipment. It is open for entrepreneurs, students, and other agencies who wish to weigh their feet in the nano venture. We focus our research on developing nanotechnology products using indigenous materials. The objective of our nanotech lab is to provide technical services for the industry and the academe. Experts themselves have said it. Nanotechnology has changed the game in different fields of expertise nano-based solar cells for charging devices on the go, to nano-based skin care products, and the nano-robots that can deliver drugs through the bloodstream. Name it, the possibilities are endless. A self-cleaning car, a nano-robot, why not? 
But nanotechnology is not without its detractors. There is concern about nanopollutants, even nanotech weapons. But whatever they are, science and society would eventually weigh nanotechnology's pros and cons. And my guess will be the pros winning out. Up next, an app that needs no data plans nor an internet connection. And it can save your life when the next disaster strikes. So who or what is a game changer? Game changers are things, ideas, or they are people who put forth pioneering concepts that change the way things are made, the way we do things, or even the way we think. We'll discover the most enterprising people, seek and encourage potential trailblazers, and take a peek into the minds of game changers.